Backing up your website is crucial. If your site gets hacked or infected, guess what? A simple backup that eliminates some of those nasty files from your database can save you. Or if you make a mistake building your website and you don't know how to amend your errors, restoring your site from a backup can come really in handy. There are truly quite a few different use cases for doing backups, so I'm not gonna go through all of them, but uh, let's take a look at the easiest and most effective way of conducting backups of your WordPress website. To follow along, please grab a license of Duplicator. This is the WordPress plugin that is going to be in charge of conducting backups of our website. It's super powerful. We're going to be able to do unlimited backups on multiple sites, schedule backups, establish recovery points, which can come really in handy if we know we're going to be working on something that may negatively impact our site and much more. I'm pretty sure that the most basic plan, which offers everything that I just mentioned, is only 50 bucks a year. I mean, just from a security standpoint and even a convenience one, this plugin is a no brainer. All right, once you've grabbed your license, you're gonna be able to download the plugin from duplicator.com and also grab your license key from your dashboard. Then simply upload it to your WordPress website and we are ready to start doing some backups. Now, Duplicator calls your backups packages. A package inside Duplicator is a backup of your site. Now, when you're doing a manual backup of your site, you can choose and pick what you wish Duplicator to backup. Your WordPress media files, your themes, your database. Most of you are probably going to want to backup everything and that's good. I encourage you to do so. By default, Duplicator is going to store all of your backups inside a new folder in your server. And it's important that you understand this because Here's the thing, most of you are probably hosting your WordPress website with something like WP Engine or WPX or SiteGround, and your hosting fee comes with perhaps 25 gigs of storage space or 50 gigs or 100 gigs. Depending on the plan that you're on, you'll be granted more or less memory space for your website. And I say this because if you have a site that is small in size, like my blog, for example, which is not even 300 megabytes big, then you can afford to host your backups on your server just fine. The problem comes when you have a website that is 20 gigabytes big. Now you really need to start doing the math and figuring out how many backups can you afford to have without having to either bump up the price of your hosting service or look for storage alternatives like Amazon Web Services. And I'll get this question straight out of the way. If you're someone that is running big websites and you wanna be able to conduct daily backups of your site on a daily basis because you know security is important to you and you wanna make sure that you're being responsible, then yes, Duplicator can most certainly store those for you in something like AWS. I'm not gonna go through that in this video, but I'll drop a link in the description box to additional resources that can help you with that. Now, I'm not done with Duplicator. We've gone over how to do manual backups of your site, which is good, but how do you schedule backups to make sure that your website is always backed up? Well, pretty simple. If you jump into schedules, you can create and customize your backup schedule however you wish. I have enabled weekly backups on my blog, for example, to make sure that on every Monday, a backup is conducted of my entire site. Again, it's really important that you understand the following. If you're paying through your hosting service for five gigs or 10 gigs of storage space, and you're conducting weekly backups of your site that are one gigabyte big each, at one point, you're going to run out of memory space, right? This is why it's also important that you configure Duplicator to delete old backups as weeks go by. And you can do this by jumping into your storage settings and telling Duplicator the maximum amount of packages that you wish to store. It will automatically delete the oldest ones as you create new ones and you reach your maximum threshold number. I can't emphasize enough how important it is for you to start doing backups of your site. They have saved me so many headaches in the past. But anyways, for all things WordPress, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you liked the video, you know, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and you know, share it with your friends. And I'm done in the comment section because you have any questions or if you want to chit chat about something, I truly appreciate your time and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.